today we are going to discuss the topic population growth okay so basically we are going to discuss uh, population dynamics section 2.3 okay so let's start um, let's say there is a um, let me try to draw a box okay hmm. Let's say a box contains some insects. Let's say the number of insects are 10. Okay. And there's another box. Okay. Another box. Slightly big box because uh, it contains the number of insects which are just 100. Okay. Now, um, uh, okay now after a while okay after some time if we observe there is an increase in the population because of the reproduction okay so let's say the increase in the population is um, the incre incremental value is small yet okay and what do you expect the increment of the population in this box for the same amount of time it should be 10 yen isn't it so uh, the population is 10 times bigger so the production or reproduction will also be or uh, the uh, the birth will also be 10 times uh, greater than this uh, system isn't it so um, now from this what I can say is um, let's consider yen is the uh, total uh, number of speci uh, species uh, inside a box in that case uh, the rate of change of that population or the population growth okay uh, which is n dot will be equal to what so from this picture we could see that it should be proportional to uh, the population in the box the current uh, uh, population in the box so it will be proportional to n and the proportionality constant let us say r okay which depends on uh, at what rate uh, uh, which de depends on the speed of the reproduction okay so this is the um, governing differential equation by solving this we will be able to get uh, after a, uh, after some time what will be the uh, population okay population in that system fine now um, what is the solution uh, for this equation if i solve n of t which is equal to n naught e to the power of r t okay what is this n naught so n is equal to n naught when t is equal to 0 so which means uh, the system begins with the population n naught okay and after some time t what will be the new um, amount of population that is given by this equation okay so that is this equation but if you see if time is keep on increasing let us plot this equation if let us say I let me plot this equation here okay where this is t and this is n yeah n so let's say this is the uh, n naught uh, when t is equal to 0 n is equal to n naught and it, if t keep on increasing the n will keep on increasing in that manner okay it will keep on increasing like this it will keep on increasing ah no control z okay it will keep on increasing it will be rising okay now um but if we observe uh, 
will this be the case so it means uh, uh, from the um, uh, if you see uh, f according to this equation all the species will be very large in number right but in our nature we do not observe anything like it is keep on increasing it looks like it is stabilizing to some value right. So, why it is getting stabilized and what is the problem in this equation right. The problem in this equation is we have introduced only the uh, birth of the uh, new insects ok but we have not considered anything about the death of the insects right. So, what if we introduce the death effect as well ok. So, we will see what, what, what will happen. Um, if we introduce the death as well uh, then the end dot should be I mean and now end dot is going to depend on both birth as well as death right. So, in order to so the first term is going to represent the uh, birth of the uh, specimen and the next term is going to represent the death of the specimen and uh, um, I am going to take a large an equation which has been uh, given by ok one second which has been given by yeah which has been given by Bill Hulst in uh, 1838 ok. So, that equation is ok that equation is n r n and then r n square by k ok. So, this is the equation ok how we ha how he has obtained this equation he obtained it by observing it for some specimens ok. He observed uh, for some specimen what is the uh, population growth for a given population like that he uh, observed and he come up with this equation ok. Now, uh, for this new governing differential equation what is the solution I as t goes on increasing ok. So, we need to solve this differential equation. So, um, we could solve using analytical method, but we have one more approach which is a graphical approach and we are going to use the graphical approach ok. So, what do we do in solving this equation using graphical approach? So, we plot n versus n dot right. So, ok when n is equal to 0 what is n dot? So, from this equation this goes to 0 this term goes to 0 and this term goes to 0. So, n dot is 0, but that is meaningful because uh, if there is no population there would not be any birth of new specimen and there would not be any death as well right yeah it is more meaningful. And then where else it will be the n dot will be 0 it will be 0 when n is equal to k right. So, just substitute uh, k in the place of n you will observe that n dot is 0. So, let us say uh, this is the point where uh, n is equal to k that point n dot is 0 ok. In between what will happen? What will happen is um, initially it will increase and then it will decrease and then it will go to negative ok. So, um, 
this is I mean this is actually a parabolic equation so it will intersect the uh, n axis only at two points so these are the only two uh, points where n dot is zero so these points are also known as fixed points okay so now um, in this region n dot is positive right so if n dot is positive n is going to increase so i am going to put the arrow in this direction and here n dot is negative so i am going to put the arrow in this direction fine so in that case what can i say about this fixed point this is going to be a stable fixed point so i am going to put it like this okay and this one this is an unstable fixed point okay so i'm going to put like a hollow okay so uh, there is a difference okay um, what about when n is negative what is the meaning of n is negative it doesn't have any meaning so it means uh, the population is negative in number so uh, it doesn't have any meaning so we are just going to concentrate only on this region okay so if you see even if a uh, slightly few specimens then uh, it will keep on increasing and it will obtain this value which is n is equal to k okay even if the value of n is larger initially than k okay doesn't matter how large okay it will keep on decreasing because uh, at that time this is going to dominate okay so compared to the uh, birth uh, the death rate will be more in this when n is greater than k okay but here in this region uh, the birth rate will dominate compared to the death rate okay so finally when k is equal sorry when n is equal to k both the birth rate as well as the death rate will balance okay so that's the uh, equilibrium sorry that's the uh, fixed point okay so now we have obtained uh, so the solution is as n it tends to uh, k as t tends to infinity but just try to solve this equation analytically okay and then see whether you are able to get this um, answer so i don't think it's very uh, easy approach but it's a uh, that's the beauty of this graphical approach okay so just try with the, uh, an analytical approach only then you will understand how easy this uh, graphical approach and you will appreciate this graphical approach okay so that's the uh, uh, population growth and by the way this equation this equation is a uh, one of the um, famous equation among the people who learn population dynamics and this equation is known as logistic equation okay this is known as logistic equation fine so now um, if you ask is this equation valid for all the specimen actually the answer is no okay it is not valid for all the specimen actually in this book if you see uh, there is a uh, a portion which is critic of the logistic model in which they have mentioned what is the drawback of this uh, model but anyway but for uh, most of the things uh, uh, that equation will give an approximate solution and in this um, in this paragraph they have mentioned for which uh, specimens it will fail and uh, they have also mentioned some papers related to um, that study okay fine so uh, with that we conclude the uh, section population growth and uh, 
In the next section we will discuss about linear stability analysis. Okay. Thank you.